Welcome everybody to my Photoshop tutorial about replacing a sky in Photoshop. This image doesn't look like it has the sky but we're gonna give it. You'll see the place where the fence is in the background. Uh, that doesn't look that appealing to wildlife photographers like me. So I will be changing that out for a very beautiful sky uh, like this. Well, we're gonna in this tool I'll be using a lot of different ways. I'll be using the quick selection tool. I'll be using uh, color. I'll be telling you how to color grade your sky so it matches your image. But first, we're gonna edit this photo like normal with the camera raw filter. I'm gonna change the white balance auto so that it looks like fine like this. We're gonna boost up the contrast a bit. We're gonna highlight a bit down, not shadows. I think up a bit. Blacks a bit down. You gotta you gotta have some darkness in your color. And what I like to do for wildlife photographs is bring up the clarity and a tad of vibrance and that of saturation like this. You can also sharpen the image like a usable amount, not too much. So I'm using the Alt key so I can see better. It, it changes the image to black and white so you can see better where you are sharpening your image. You can also press Alt or well, the radius so you can see where it's done. I'm just going to lower that a bit. I'm pumping out it up. And use chromatic aberrations like this, and then hit OK. We're gonna see image changed a bit. It looks nice now, but the, you still got that very awful fencing in the background. So I'll be moving in this image into my workspace, and I'm gonna hit Control T. And to change it, size it up a bit. Let's see which part of the clouds do you like. So there, I'm gonna hit OK. Unlock the first layer and put it underneath. Now we're gonna use the quick selection tool. Here, this one. I'm gonna zoom in a bit so we can see our work bigger. And we're gonna select all of this fencing. In the beginning, I'll be using a bigger brush. You can change the size of your brush with the brackets on your keyboard. Selecting like this. Uh, I'm for selecting. I'm using a Wacom pen tablet. Now I'm gonna reduce the size of the brush. I'm gonna zoom in close so I'm gonna be so I've got a, a better selecting. If you're doing this at home, you can always take a bit more time for selecting. I'll be doing this faster. You can get on and do it yourself. If you you see here the hairs are on the mountain lion, and it doesn't matter if you hit that a bit because we're gonna when we have selected it all, we're gonna give it a tiny bit of a feather so it translates so it looks a bit more pleasing on the eyes. Sideways scrolling, scrolling. I use my scroll wheel and control uh, pushed in on my keyboard. Like it is. And if you see here, I got selected a bit too much. Pressing the Alt or Option key, I can deselect it all. Like this. I'm gonna wait until it's loaded. Let's see, here we have a bit we have not selected yet. 
like this. We have it selected a bit too much. Alt or option and deselecting it. Gonna go back in and we're gonna go to refine edge. Here we're gonna give it a tiny bit of feather so it's just a, just a bit is a bit better. Now we're gonna create a layer mask. Here click here so you can get a layer mask and now we're gonna invert it and you see here the mountain line and the sky is up both in focus we don't want that we're gonna so we select the layer one with the sky within it go to filter blur lens blur and i'm just gonna leave it like this the radius maximum so you can get the most out of focus effect now we hit ok and it will apply your filter on the layer the next thing we're gonna do is uh, make the sky of the same colors of the original image because if you have this all lovely blue nice sky in an image which is warmer people will notice it and you don't want it and if you're still not satisfied with the selection you can go to your lay mask right mouse click and refine mask and we're gonna give it a bit more feather I'm not quite happy with the amount of feather like this and you see some of the hairs come back it looks a bit ple more pleasing so now we're here, I'm gonna create, cre first of all, we're gonna change the color balance. We're gonna go, I think it's too cold, so we're gonna make it a bit more yellow. This one already looks better. And also, I think the sky is a bit too bright for the image, so we're gonna change that a bit. Getting it down. Vibrance. Well, is also something we're gonna use. Make sure you keep it underneath the original image, just a tiny bit. So this, so with this three simple layers, you can get the sky look any like you want. I'm not happy with my layer mask, but if you can see here the original image, it looks better. So that is all you gotta do to create this image. It's very useful if you go a lot to Zeus photograph but you're not happy with a fencing in the back. You're gonna use this tricks to just make it look like it was taken in the wild. Last thing you have to do is save your file, upload it somewhere so everybody will see it and you get a lot of compliments. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, I hope you've learned a lot. And if you wanna learn more, watch my other videos, please subscribe for more upcoming videos which i have not yet released and if you are interested in more photography videos i'll be making more photography videos in the near future and i'm thinking about starting a vlog so if you want to see vlogs uh, please comment in the comment section or or hit the like button i so i will teach you next time in the next video i hope you have a nice day